Welcome into another edition of The Butcher versus The Dance Instructor presented by LB's Meat Market. I'm Neil McCready. That's Greg Jones of LB's Meat Market. Caroline McCready of Legacy Arts and Fine Dancing and other yeah, assorted things is uh, is with us as well as we get ready for, uh, for week number two. We got a home game in Oxford this weekend, so uh, a lot of you coming into town will probably be stopping by LB's, and if you weren't planning to, now you should plan to. You should go by LB's, 2008 University Avenue in Oxford, right across the street from Kroger. Let Kroger be your uh, landmark if you're not familiar, but don't go to Kroger. Go across the street. Go to LB's. You will be so glad you did. They have the freshest cuts of everything you're looking for, beef, pork, chicken. They have fresh seafood that comes in at the end of the week, jalapeno poppers, stuffed mushrooms, bacon-wrapped asparagus, so much more, including lunches on Thursdays and Fridays. And then don't forget, I do this all the time. It's a way just to uh, save yourself a couple of bucks, and it's just as good. Check out the freezer case when you walk in on the left. Everything in the freezer is just like the stuff that's in the fresh. It's just got put in the freezer. $2 off if you uh, get the the stuff out of the freezer. Check out all the stuff that's there, from wings to flank steak to skirt steaks to strips to ribeyes to sausages. It's all there at LB's Meat Market, 2008 University Avenue, in Oxford. Greg, Caroline, how are you all? Good. Awesome. We're ready for the weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be an interesting one here. Uh well Ole Miss Ole Miss not at home. Ole Miss is in New Orleans. I was thinking Caroline and I were just talking about how Arkansas has a home game this week and then both teams have a home night game next week. That's what threw me off. So Ole Miss at Tulane this weekend in New Orleans. So uh if you're not going to the game and you're getting ready for uh tailgating and all of those things, stop at LB's. It's even better. Ole Miss plays at 2.30. Game be over by 6. There's some pretty good night games we'll be talking about here in a minute. So you can make a full day of it with uh, LBs and all of that. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's di- let's dive in to uh, week two here. You both did okay in week one. Greg, you went 5-5 five and five in a week that was hard to predict. Big, big numbers and things like that. Caroline, you went 6-4. and four. You have a one-game lead headed into uh, week two. So uh, both of you, uh, much better than what I've done in both of my respective competitions where I just absolutely was a burning dumpster fire. All right, we will start uh, We'll start right here. We'll go, uh, Caroline, you get to go first since you had the lead last week. That's how we do this. So Vanderbilt heads to uh, Wake Forest. This is a game, It's I think it's at 10 a.m. Central Time on the ACC Network, so 11 a.m. out there on the East Coast. Vanderbilt, Carolina, is a 12-and-a-half-point underdog at Wake Forest. Okay. I don't know much about Wake Forest, but my older sister Campbell, who used to be on the show, lives in Nashville. So I'm going to pick Vanderbilt for this one just because I don't, I don't really know much about Wake Forest. Caroline off to an interesting start, Greg. She's going to roll with Clark Lee and the uh, the Commodore. She does get 12 and a half points in Winston-Salem. What, what, about you, what do you think? Well, he does have the best hair in the league, that's for sure. So um, he, he is does a, have that goal. He is a fine-looking man, no question about that. Uh, I'm going to try to pick a game up on her. I'll, I'll take Wake Forest. Uh, I just uh, – um, the uh, Hawaii game, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Hawaii came back and got lost to Sanford, so – Maybe Hawaii's not that good. So uh, maybe two uh, Wake Forest wins by two touchdowns. All right. So uh, Greg's taking away. Caroline takes Vandy. <clears throat> Excuse my voice for a minute. It's kind of shot for a second. Uh, go into the SEC, sort of, Greg. Georgia, the top-ranked team in the country. They're at home again in Athens against Ball State. We picked the Ball State-Kentucky game last week. Uh, you both uh, got it right. You both went with Kentucky. They covered Ball State's getting 42 points in Athens, Greg, against the Bulldogs. Yeah, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Georgia. I mean, if uh, Kentucky can cover it, I, I, I'm assuming Georgia can too. So uh, I'm gonna go roll with Georgia on this one. All right, Caroline, Greg's gonna take Georgia and uh, lay six touchdowns, 42 points. What do you think? I'm gonna agree with Greg. Yeah, that's a safe bet. When it when in yeah, doubt. I mean, good teams are supposed to win by 60, 55 to nothing for sure, right? And they usually do. Yeah. But what you worry about with forty two points is the back door, and also a team going, "Hey, we're up forty to nothing. Let's get all the starters out. Let's put all the backups in, and then things get sloppy." Yep, that's that's how. Um, did you hear how many push ups that Oregon Duck had to do last weekend? 
It was like six hundred. I know that's gone off record. I just it came up to my head like scoring a lot of touchdowns. He did like six hundred and seventy something push ups. <laughs> yeah, yeah I cool. saw the tweet. He was sprawled out in the end zone. It was like uh prayers for the Oregon Duck. He just got done doing like six hundred push ups. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, that's that is unreal. Yeah, that's I mean, you know. Uh, but, Man, you know, like when they scored that last time, he's like, I gotta do eighty more. <laughs> and then he's like uh, and if they kick the extra point do i have to hit do 81 now oh my god all right uh we talked about Ole miss and tulane um here we go Ole miss caroline heads down to tulane the rebels ranked 20th in the ap poll this week tulane ranked 24 24th this game on espn2 it's a 230 kick uh Ole miss is a six point favorite caroline I'm in pickle miss. I, you know, I'm from Oxford. And six points is doable. Yeah, six points doable. A lot of your friends going down, your old miss friends? I don't think so. I need really? to add. Okay. Huh. I would I, I'm anticipating old miss taking a ton of people. I honestly bet a bunch of them will. Yeah. I've had a lot going on, so I need to ask, but all right, Greg, uh, Caroline's gonna take the rebels, lay the six. I mean, I say they easily went by two touchdowns. Um, uh, I was thinking that this, uh, with the way off the offense ran last weekend, it might be uh, nine and a half to ten. So um, I, I think uh, Ole Miss should win by at least two or three touchdowns. Yeah, I do too. I've been saying all summer. I don't think this is a close game. I, I, I don't. I think next week's game, actually, believe it or not, against Georgia Tech is going to be closer than Tulane. I, that's not. I, 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 I could be way off, but that's what I think. All right, uh, Greg, Texas A and M. Looked good last week. Uh, blew out New Mexico. This time they go on the road. They go down to Miami. The Aggies giving five and a half points to uh, the Hurricanes. I think both of you missed on Texas A and M last week. So uh, yeah. Caroline let her personal and em- her personal animosity towards the Aggies get in the way. And I think Greg, you just doubted a little. So um, I'm going to continue to doubt. I'm going to take Miami here. Uh, I, I I I just think that. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to take Miami here. I just think it's going to be a close game, and I'll take a – I think it's going to be a field goal game, so I'll take the points as a home underdog. Okay. That's interesting. All right, Caroline, Greg is going to take Miami and get five and a half points. What about you? Okay, I don't like Texas (laughs) A&M, but I'm going to pick them this week. Okay. I don't like them at all, but – because of yeah, that. I mean, usually, usually winning money over your, you know, what you don't like, uh, usually prevails. So I think you're in a tight situation here. I just, uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to stick to my guns. Uh, I, I hope it um, implodes in uh, College Station. <laughs> All right, uh, Caroline's going to take the Aggies. Greg's going to take the Canes. All right, we go to out of the out of the South for a minute. A game that I'm always interested in. One of my games of the year. It's called the Cyhawk game. Iowa is at Iowa State. Caroline, do you know why they call it the Cyhawk game? Well, aren't Iowa they're the they're the Hawks, right? Iowa's the Hawkeyes. Iowa State is the Cyclones, so it's called the uh, okay. Cyhawk game. So it's the Cyhawk game, Caroline. Iowa giving four at Ohio State at Iowa State. I'm gonna go with Iowa. I don't know. I just I like them. I don't know why. I guess you do. Then I do. <laughs> I, I walk around with Iowa stuff all the time, and people look at me like, "Are you an Iowa fan?" I'm like, "Well, kind of." They're like, "Did you go there?" I'm like, "I've never even been to the state." Well, what's the deal? I'm like, "It's a long story. Just leave me alone." I like Iowa. I was supposed to study abroad last summer, but then I decided to have my shoulder surgery. But that was through Iowa. Yeah. So I guess I have like a little bit of a pull to them. Yeah, you almost you almost had some credit hours from the University of Iowa. All right, Greg, she's going to take the Hawkeyes, lay the four. What do you think? Isn't this uh, like a state fair thing, too? It, uh, or is this a campus? Because uh, Oh, that's a good question. I, no, I don't think it's – I don't know whether it's a – they play it on the two campuses, but it, they – Or somebody has a turkey leg, or it might be Iowa that, like, sells turkey legs, like, before the games or something like that. Maybe but I heard so. that's famous or something like that. Anyway – uh, I like, like Iowa too. I mean, the whole like waving uh, to the Children's Hospital third. I mean, that third is that the start of the third quarter or something like that. They do that after the, they do after the first quarter at Iowa. Yeah, Holmes. 
20, yeah, that's just to that's see. cool. And, and yeah. I, like I said, never been to Iowa. I, I think I'd I'd love for Ole Miss to do it home home, and I would actually consider I would consider doing that. Yeah, it's a, it's one of the places I want to go see a game. I want to go to the I want to see the hospital thing, and it looks cool. And um, I don't know about Ames, but I'd like to go to Iowa City. Um, the, it's going to be a circus this time. The former president, President Trump, is going to be there. The Iowa caucus is coming up. It's going to be a zoo in uh, in Ames, I would suspect, on Saturday. All right, Caroline. Um, this, I see this is Greg. It's your turn. Uh, Kent State coming off of a uh, beat down at the hands of UCF. They head to Fayetteville to face uh, Caroline's Razorbacks. The Arkansas Razorbacks, a 38-and-a-half-point favorite over Kent State, Greg. Yeah, I'll definitely take Arkansas. I watched the the Kent State game, and they they showed a little heart. And but I mean, you know, I think they've got uh, like you were saying, the coach left and the backup of a backup, and uh, so yeah, I uh, I think uh, I think Arkansas rolls here. Yeah, the Kent State coach left to be the defensive coordinator or offensive coordinator at Colorado. Either I think it might be offense. I think it's offense too. All right, Caroline, I got a feeling I know which way you'll go. Greg's taking the Razorbacks, laying 38 and a half. I'm taking Arkansas, too. I have to. Yeah. Are you going to the game? Planning on it. Yeah. Is it hard? To are you going to stay for the whole game? Is she, is she, are you, are you going to be a whole gamer? Or are you gonna I'm, be a I'm good at going to the games and staying. But it's different when it's extremely hot outside. You know? And it's, just, like, girl, is it hot in Fayetteville right now? What's the temperature like in Fayetteville? It's hot right now. It's, uh, I don't know. It's in the nineties. Oh, it is. but is there humidity? It, because surely there's no humidity, right? With the mountains or no? There is a little bit, but not. Okay. Not, not like Mississippi. But yeah, I'll probably go. I can't promise the whole time because girls have to wear like uncomfortable shoes to you know look cute. So my feet will probably be hurting. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'll make it. I'll probably stay at least to halftime. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she will. I mean, she 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 goes more than her sister. I mean, if, if you yeah, know I you're going to be, I don't understand if you know you're going to be walking around a lot. Why would you wear uncomfortable shoes? I mean, I just I don't know. I don't understand that. How it is when you're like a sorority girl in the CC. Okay. Understand. Yeah. yeah. Understand. Touche. Right. I, I couldn't. I can't reply to that. Touche. Right. Speaking of sorority girls, Alabama has a uh, sorority system. It got a big documentary done it and everything. Alabama is at home on Saturday. They play the Texas Longhorns, a future SEC game starting next year. Texas getting ready to join the SEC. Texas is a seven and a half point underdog in Tuscaloosa, Caroline. Although I don't really love Alabama. I think Texas is cool. I'm going to go with Alabama. I mean, like I said last week, they always they always pull through. Yeah. What it, What about Texas is cool? I'm curious. Well, just compared to Alabama. We beat Texas, too. We beat Texas two years ago. Yeah. The last time they played at an SEC stadium was in Fayetteville. You guys got the best of them easy. Yeah. Right. So if I was going to beat Texas, then Alabama is going to beat Texas. Not terrible logic. Uh, all right, Greg, she's going to take the uh, the tide, lay seven and a half. Yeah, I, I have to take Alabama too. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like Alabama's a better football team. But uh, and, and the whole assistant coach versus like uh, the Saban angle versus his former assistants, uh, kind of like that angle too. That's a pretty positive number. And, and he's, not, uh, he's not Georgia's coach, so uh, I'm, I'm going to stick with that angle. All right, Middle Tennessee, uh, they lost last week at Alabama. This week, they go to Missouri looking for a little redemption. Missouri is a 20-and-a-half point favorite, Greg. I'm going to go Middle Tennessee State. They oh. they, showed, they showed some heart. Uh, I mean, I'm just, for, for some strange reason, I'm taking a, a, an underdog here. I, I I didn't see when Missouri was playing South Dakota State. Was that who they played? They played South, South Dakota in week one. Yep. Oh, South Dakota. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to take the points here uh, and roll the dice. All right. Caroline, Greg is going to take Middle Tennessee and get 20 and a half points 
at Missouri. All right, let me ask you this. Missouri's your other big rival, supposedly, at Arkansas. Do you even think about Missouri? No. I'm more of like nobody. I mean, I guess Arkansas and Ole Miss do have a rivalry. Like, a lot of people here get really heated up about the Ole Miss game. Like, Missouri is just – I mean, Missouri, we always play them over Thanksgiving break, too, so it's, like, not a big game to us. So, I mean, I don't have any, like, hatred towards Missouri. Okay. Like, I get more into, like, Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss, A&M, more than I do Missouri. You hate A&M the most. Is that right? Hmm. I don't see her hating anybody. She's just kind of on the middle of the road. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, this is yeah I lot. like everyone. I get the most into the Ole Miss Arkansas game, I have to say, because it's kind of like a little thing with my friends. <laughs> they go to Ole Miss. Like last year was that was my favorite weekend of my sophomore year was whenever we beat Ole Miss. It was awesome. But I don't hate Ole Miss, but when we play, when Arkansas plays Ole Miss, I do not like Ole Miss. You got the. I, mean, I, can, I can definitely know that Campbell hates Auburn. I can definitely put that on. Yeah, pen, pen yeah pen. I don't. Campbell I think I, I probably. I hate Auburn more than I hate A and M. Oh. Oh wow! There we go. A&M, I don't care about A and M unless I'm playing. Unless we're playing them. Just because of last year. I can tell you that if you told me that Arkansas could only win one game this entire season, and I got to pick that game, it would be Auburn. Really? Yes. Hmm. You probably know who Auburn's coach is now. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I well, would, if, liver, if the, foot, if the football guys, oh. yeah, I know, I know, that was that I, sucked. I, I hated that for you guys. I, yeah. Yeah. If the football guys dropped in and said, "Hey, Neil, Arkansas only gets to win one more game this year. Pick the game. I don't even have to think about it. Auburn. Auburn. Yeah." That'll be Auburn, please. Thank you. Thank you, gods. That game's later in the season. We yeah, it's, wait a, it's, in, it's in November. Yeah. All right. Uh, Caroline, Greg's taking Middle Tennessee in 20 and a half against Missouri. I'm going to take Missouri. I have a friend from Columbia, Missouri. And I just, like I said, I have nothing against Missouri. So I'm going to pick them. Greg, just- I need to get more friends in SEC schools. I, I think that that's. I, I just mean, need to get more friends, period. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same way. I mean, I got a lot of friends in Kentucky, so that's why I bet Kentucky every time. But I don't have any friends in Missouri. I don't have any friends at Texas A&M. I don't have any friends in Texas. You know, just. I, don't, I have a ton of friends from Texas because a ton of people from Texas go to Arkansas, but I still picked Alabama. I don't have any many friends. Well, because you're smart. Because you know <laughs> yeah. that that's what's, I mean, you, you, you know what's going to happen. Fair. That's true. Yeah. All right. I'll be interested in y'all's picks on this game. Uh, a team that I don't think either of you particularly care for. Mississippi State is at home. They are giving nine and a half points to the Arizona Wildcats. Mississippi State beat Southeastern Louisiana pretty handedly last week. Now they step up a little bit. They play Arizona. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. Last week, the Pac-12, which is a d- dead league. This is the last year of the Pac-12. But the Pac-12 went undefeated last week. Every Pac-12 team won in week one. So Arizona going to Mississippi State looking for an SEC win, Caroline. They're getting nine and a half at Mississippi State. Mm, Yeah, I don't love Mississippi State, but I'm going to pick them. Okay. I'm from Mississippi. I, again, have a friend that goes to Mississippi State. So. Jenna? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So I'll pick them. All right, Greg. Well, I just realized how many friends I have that go to University of Arizona. Um, so, I mean, like, I, I just counted up like 10. I'm probably yeah. going to go out there and visit them, you know, because uh, they were like, hey, man, you need to come to university. Come check out a Wildcat game. So, uh, uh, I, I, I like Arizona. I got to go hang out in Arizona with all my friends. Okay. I, that's, that's an interesting pick. Uh, yeah. Greg's going to take uh, Arizona. Caroline's got Mississippi State. Last game, Greg, Auburn. Auburn heads out west to Berkeley. They play the Cal Bears. This is a 930 game on ESPN late Saturday. If you've loaded up on all your LBs and your kickback and you're full and you 
pour yourself a glass of something. This is what's probably on your screen late night. Auburn get, giving six and a half at Cal, Greg. I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm finally going to use my brain for once. Like, uh, like Caroline's used like this whole show and picking the right side and not picking against, uh, you know, your sworn enemies. So I'm going to take Auburn. I think they win by 15 touchdowns. I mean, that's, for, that, that's going to be probably the icing on the cake. And then they're probably going to win by a field goal. And I'm going to be really upset that I picked Auburn. Yeah, if, if they're going to win, let them cover. If they're not going to win, yeah, don't let don't do the the whole yeah. All right, yeah. Caroline, Greg's going to take the Tigers, the War Eagles, the Plainsmen, the team mm-hmm. with all the mascots, and lay six and a half against the Cal Golden Bears. I'm going to agree with Greg. Auburn, I don't. Yeah, I wish I could disagree with both of you and and go strong on on. I mean, I do like the Berkeley Bear. That mascot, he's got that little old school. Car- is it what? How do you, how do you say that? Carnegie, Carnegie, Cardigan. Yeah, I like that little bear outfit that he wears. So, I mean, yeah. I think he's a pretty cool bear. He's a lot cooler than the Ole Miss Bear. I'll say that. So the Ole Miss Bear is now the Mercer Bear. Did you know that? Yeah, uh, so um, my mom and uh, one of my work, uh, work little Kyle went, he goes, man, I got a picture of the bear, man. And uh, I, and he showed me, I was like, wait, that bear looked familiar. <laughs> yeah, Ole Miss gave the mascot the, the, the costume to Mercer when they decided, <laughs> when they just decided to abandon the black bear. <laughs> How long did the black bear last? How long did the black bear last? It was like four or five years. It, it was, uh, I know whenever Ole Miss played Texas at Texas. Because um, I think it was James, no, Scott did that punt return. Um, and like, uh, and Kelm's like, uh, escort him in, boys. And the bear, and the bear was like right there. Boom, gave him a half. I was like, all right. Well, so the bear, we had the bear in that year. I think that was Bo Wallace's year. That was 2013 when Ole Miss won in, in Austin. So uh, he might have been out of there by 2015 for sure. Oh, did he not last any longer than that? They sort, of just, they sort of just drifted away from him. Kind of like that Homer Sip- Simpson gif, you know, where he just uh, yeah, yeah, where he goes, goes in, back into, yeah, the, into where the bushes. Goes back into the bushes, yeah. yeah. I mean, what I don't understand is, like, if you thought, if kids thought the bear was scary, <laughs> what do they think about a shark? Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, I mean, like, oh, what a fuzzy, what a nice little fish here. And he opens up his mouth, and he's got teeth. And, I mean, like, come, I mean, the mascot's going to, is, is a hard Hard thing to make people happy with. It's just one of those things. Not to get down this rabbit hole because we we've we've gone enough. But it's one. Of, it's you look around the league at all of the different teams that sort of have the mascot thing figured out. Big Al, Aubby, Mike the Tiger. Uh, I mean, I like the pigs. The, what are they called? Well, there's well, like I, mean, I like the like they got the whole family right. They got the whole family yeah. out there. I, I think that's great. What are they called, Caroline? There's big, big red. Big red. One of them just died, like last year. The actual pig died. The, yeah, because like they the, have a they have a baby. Oh pig. yeah, the oh, tusk. Yeah, they tusk. have like, yeah, they That's have the tusk. big pig, but yeah, tusk that just goes around. But there's a new one right now. But he's you know same name, but it's just it's a new pig. But so he goes like the um, Georgia bulldog thing, kind of like exactly uh, like that. See, there you go. How hard is that? I mean, uh, George has got to do something about because they've they've inbred the dog so much that the dog lives like six weeks. But they 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 they, <laughs> but I mean they they have like Harry the 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 mascot the big mascot wears the spike collar and it's just not that hard. And kids, yeah, we like- have we have Suey and she's like the girl. Mascot. Yeah, and she has a little like pink, like a little ribbon in her tail. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, yeah, Florida's got I mean, even the Auburn Tigers kind of friendly. I mean, the, I mean, I mean, even the Auburn Tigers kind of a little yeah. friendly. Aubie, got the, got Aubie with the waves. He always the, dresses up on like he's yeah. got themes. You know I mean, like, gosh, I mean, do y'all think the land shark is going to last? No. Like, what's it is he be- still around? I thought they drained the water out of the swimming pool and and. No, I women. think they've gotten a new kind of fuzzier shark mascot, but they haven't really run it out there much. Because sharks have fuzz on them, right? I, I just see. I, okay, I, I, here's my Ole Miss mascot hot, hot take, and I've been on this 
for a while. What's Mississippi known for? Like you got you got choices here. Catfish. Sorry, Catfish. I haven't I, ha I haven't been in Mississippi history since seventh grade, so that was probably back Catfish, in the late. Right? Catfish is the oh. world's largest product producer of catfish, isn't that correct? Yeah, yeah. Bust out a catfish. Name it muddy. <laughs> Name it rebel. Name it whatever you want to. Just but everybody likes it. No one's gonna get upset at a catfish. Or I don't know. Do something. Just come up with the mascot that creates a revenue stream for yourself. Yeah, I don't I know how the land shark even became a thing. I don't understand. Well, there was a, a linebacker that did like this thing, and he ended up dying uh, or something like that. And they Tony Fain, and he did the land shark. It ends and, up. Yeah, I mean, it's a great con it was a great thing. I mean, like just you know, you can't turn it into a mascot, but you know, I just you could have continued to embrace fins up. But not, yeah, but not sure. go all the way down the road with the mascot. mascot. Yeah. Or like whenever the defense is on the field, like get your pins up or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, like, could, uh, I mean, like go it. with that. Yeah. Not literally a walking shark with fuzz on his face now. <laughs> I mean, well, because if you ask, but yeah, we'll we'll have to we'll have to think of something. I mean, we'll have to get of a cute catfish. I think there's a there's a cute catfish running around there somewhere. Yeah, I think the black bear would have been, is that the only reason? Was there like a controversial thing with that? No, just some of the older people didn't like it and they didn't give it enough time. You had to, you, they could have made the bear look cute. You That's almost had to just kind of force it. You had to just sort of wait people out and go, Hey, you'll get used to it. Cause people are like, if you keep that bear out there, I'm not going to keep coming to the games. It's like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> of course you're going to come to the games. You're just bitching for a minute. So go ahead, get it out. Yeah, and then, and then by the time, I mean, what you want a flag with a stick on it? I mean, is that will that make you happy? No, I mean that's stupid. <laughs> I think yeah. what was interesting about the whole we've gone way down this road. What was interesting about the whole black bear thing was by the time they got rid of it, I kind of felt like people were getting used to it. Yeah, yeah. People, which the next step after you get used to it is, ah, oh, you know what? He's okay. I like the bear. And then next, yeah, thing he had sun, yeah. There was a picture with him sunglasses on. He looked cool. I was like, yeah. hey, look, man, bear's trying to hang out. Bear's trying to be a part of the team. I think when he might have done himself in was in that really bad season when they went two and ten. The bear put the box over his head. Oh wow! Um, I mean, and that was yeah. That, well, he was probably a paid actor. Like he well, was probably not an actual student. That you know, actually, and it was funny. Him. That was a really bad team. I mean, that that was that twenty. I don't know when that was. I don't know. Maybe I've got my dates wrong. But time flies when you have fun, especially yeah. when you do uh, uh, get to do podcasts with your kids and teach them how to uh, do point spreads and stuff. Right? Yeah. I feel yeah. like I've been learning. Yeah, you. No one. No one's taken the well. Greg did today, but no one's kind of gone. You know what? I don't think this team's going to win, but I'm going to take the points. Greg did it with Middle Tennessee today. I kind of that's the first time we we don't get a lot of that on this show. I'll try. Campbell okay. never did it in three years, so. Campbell would just take a team and lay the points no matter how many points it was if that was her team. Okay. So, anyway. Yeah, I mean, st she definitely st stuck to her guns. And if Dance Moms was involved or the Buffalo Bills, I mean, she was definitely taking them for sure. For sure. I mean, no, right. there was no, no, no. And the color green, for sure. Color green. So weird. Yeah. All right, we will uh, we'll wrap it up there. That uh, does it for week two of the Butcher versus the uh, the Dance Instructor. Everybody have a great trip. If you're driving down to New Orleans, be safe. Caroline, be safe going to your game in uh, Fayetteville. And we'll be back again next week. Get ready for another week of college football. Ole Miss at home next weekend against Georgia Tech as they start to get ready for SEC play, which is right around the corner. So we will uh, talk to everybody then. For Greg Jones, for Caroline McCready, I'm Neil McCready. That does it for the Butcher versus the Dance Instructor presented by LB's Meat Market. Take care.